Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 22nd of 2025 is titled, A Double Detonation Supernova. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see the example of a supernova remnant from a star that was seen to explode here on Earth about 400 years ago. Although, interestingly enough, it was actually not what it would have been seen, but was never actually recorded. Now, that's interesting. We were certainly looking at the sky, and there should be records of this. Now, based on the supernova itself, it was actually very far south, so it would not have been seen by those at far northerly latitudes. But it still should have been seen in, in regions south of the equator, and yet there is no record of this supernova, which is quite interesting itself. Now, the double detonation refers to the fact that we see two shells here, meaning that the supernova exploded twice. Now, it does this in this type of supernova, which is known as a type 1 supernova, which happens when a white dwarf star exceeds its mass limit. Essentially, a white dwarf can only reach a certain mass, which is about 1.4 times the mass of our sun. Anything heavier, heavier than that, and it collapses. You can think of it as having a rickety old table and starting to stack books on it. Well, you can keep stacking books on it up to a certain point, but at some point you will put one too many books on it and it will crash down. Well, essentially, that's what this white dwarf star can do. Once you put a little bit too much matter on it, it will collapse downward. So, essentially, it gets so much material built up on its outer layers, uh, generally from another star, a companion star, that it explodes. And it will explode the material outward, but it will also push downward and collapse inward, and that will then trigger a massive explosion within the star. So that compression, that explosion pushing things downward within the star itself will eventually cause it to push outward again. So it'll collapse down and rebound exploding again. And we can then see the two shells that are left behind when something like this occurs. Now, that is what we tend to think of might happen in something like this. And based on the shells that we see, how big they are, the compositions that we can measure for them, what chemical elements are present there, these are all consistent with this being a double detonation supernova. Again, the big questions on it, why this wasn't noticed. It should have been easily visible in the sky, and why was it not noticed on Earth? And why do we not see the companion star? What happened to the companion star? In order for a white dwarf to explode, it must have a companion star there feeding it material. So the companion star can expand, become a red giant, and then it ends up being close enough to the other star that it will then transfer material to it, and that's what initiates the supernova explosion. But in most cases, that star should still be left behind and would be visible there. And we don't see it in this case. So that's another big question concerning our understanding of how this might work. So that was our picture of the day for July 22nd of 2025. It was titled A Double Detonation Supernova. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be rock being vaporized. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.